In Matthew chapter 24, the disciples come to Jesus and they ask him, what are the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus says to them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Um, and then he goes into talking about, you know, wars and rumors of wars. Certainly I have plenty of that today. Um, famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Um, the beginning of sorrows. It's, we're not in the time of Jacob's trouble yet. We are in the beginning of sorrows. And here's the important thing. In this beginning of sorrow's time, you actually have many people coming saying, I am Christ. They're coming in the name of Jesus, and they're even saying, going so far as to take attributes of Jesus Christ and apply it to themselves. Uh, it's very dangerous to do that. Um, as I talked about in another video there, King Herod, when the people said that he's you know, God, basically, with his speech, his mighty oration that he gave, God dropped the guy dead. God will remove protection from a ruler, in other words, when they take glory from him. Rulers are supposed to be, they are ordained by God, according to Romans chapter 13, for the punishment of evildoers. And um, they're ministers of God to thee for good, according to the scriptures. Well, when they start to change their role, and now they're starting to become tyrants, and then they start to take attributes from God, that gets very dangerous for that politician. And God can remove his protection. But um, study the position of the Antichrist. The Antichrist, yes, he's against Christ, but he's also a counterfeit Christ. And there's the thing of the Antichrist being wounded in the right eye, and his right eye is darkened. Hmm. And you see a lot of these people, and they're doing this thing, you know, like this or whatever, or they'll put a triangle. I can't do it because my hand's holding the camera, but they'll do this thing with their left eye um, out in Hollywood. That's a, another Christ. Um, <clears throat> I'm shedding my blood to die for, you know, or I'm shedding, willing to shed my blood to save this country. Well, that's an attribute of Jesus Christ. Um, you know, I'm a holy, righteous, whatever. That's an attribute of Jesus Christ. Be very careful with that. Um, when you see people stealing attributes of Christ and people start to kind of try to deify them a little bit and try to worship them, um, that's very dangerous, okay? So I'll be coming out with some studies on this thing and um, you know, getting into a little bit more detail from the scriptures, but just thought I'd do a quick walk and talk. And uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below about the thing of people trying to imitate Christ. And of course, the biggest one of all is the Pope. Um, and you know, I think even Catholics are smart enough to see through Pope Francis. That guy is a wicked devil doesn't have anything to do with God or Jesus Christ. He's rejected Jesus Christ publicly many times, saying that the, you know, Jesus failed on the cross and, you know, you can't have a personal savior and all this other stuff. That man is wicked because he's a Jesuit and you're not supposed to have Jesuits as popes. All right, and if you're a Roman Catholic, I say this in all love towards you, you need to get rid of the Jesuits, okay? It was done, one of the popes back there in the 19th century, he got rid of the Jesuits, disbanded the Jesuit order. The Jesuit order is a very dangerous thing. It's, it politicizes your Catholic church even more so than regular Catholicism. They do a lot of very dastardly, very dirty things. Um, you need to work hard to, get, to be against the, the Jesuits. All right? I'm not trying to sow division among the Catholics and whatever else. Um, I'm being very honest here. I have plenty of issues with Catholicism, but Jesuit... The whole Jesuit order thing is a whole other level of evil, all right? And if you're a Catholic, you better study it. You better look into it and realize what these people have done down through the years, killing Roman Catholics, by the way, too. Liberals and heretics. They call you, uh, if you're not part of their system or whatever, then you're a liberal, all right? So um, check into that. So that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.